Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the iPhone 7 Plus on the right versus the all new groundbreaking iPhone 8 Plus or iPhone 7S Plus, whatever you want to call it because they look so damn similar. iPhone 7 Plus has been one of the fastest phones on the market. Even after a year later, this phone is still kicking ass and uh, the iPhone 8 Plus is even better and the performance has gone to a whole new freaking level. So I want to see how the old monster compares to the new monster in a speed test battle. Okay, so time to boot up both phones at the same time. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, the iPhone 7 Plus comes first with the boot up logo. But can it win the test? No. Okay. The iPhone 8 Plus wins. 7 Plus is still taking some time. And it's about to be finished. Yes, it's done. So you can see about 5 second or maybe 6 second delay there. Easy win for the iPhone 8 Plus when it comes to booting up. Moving on to the apps opening. Kicking things off with the phone dialer. You guys know how we start these tests. So uh, let's get right into it. Go. And as you can see, that was a about the same, no difference whatsoever. Let's go ahead and launch settings. And again, same results, I can't see any difference there. One more system application won't hurt. So let's see, calculator. Again, same stuff. Of course, I have the numbers written before, so uh, this thing kind of saves it. Even after a boot up, you will still see the same information. Let's test out some games. So first off, we have a Riptide GP Reengage. Here we go. Let's see which one is going to be faster here. And uh, the iPhone 8 Plus done, followed by the 7 Plus. So far, the iPhone 8 Plus is unbeaten when it comes to games. So I have a feeling that 7 Plus might be able to pull off. But let's see. Subway Surfers. Let's see. Can the iPhone 7 Plus do the impossible. No, the iPhone 8 Plus again manages to be just a tiny bit quicker there. Again, I'm trying my best to be as humanly accurate possible as I can. Uh, but you can see that 8 Plus definitely wins there. That was a really small margin. I mean, of course, benchmarks tells us that this one is way powerful, but A10 is still a beast of a chipset. Checking out Pinout. Um, I think it's a draw. Definitely a draw. Next up, we got Twitter. And uh, about the same on both phones. Uber. And I uh, think about the same. Maybe the 8 Plus started the animation first. Next up, we got Smash Hit. So trying out at the same time. Here we go. That is about the same. Either it is a draw or the iPhone 8 Plus winning the test. That's the story so far. Next we have another game which is called as Beach Buggy Racing. Let's launch at the same time. And uh, okay, iPhone 8 Plus done, followed by the iPhone 7 Plus. Snapchat and the iPhone 8 Plus again faster. Let's check the home button response on both phones. Okay, at the same time, about the same. Tasking switcher. Okay, let's see. About the same can see no difference there. Let's check out cameras. And again, same stuff. It was a draw. And uh, lastly, we'll be opening up the application that I missed, which was the Instagram. So a lot of people are asking me a question about where I am. I'm currently in Dubai, so I'm filming the video from the hotel room. So if you want to see the behind the scenes stuff, so make sure you follow me on Instagram at SeatDeckCare. So uh, let's see which one would be faster with this app. Here we go. And uh, as you can see, the iPhone 8 Plus done with the latest feed while the 7 Plus is also done, started playing the video. And uh, it showed, uh, showed me the notification first, so maybe that's why it played the video late. But definitely with the app and everything, content, everything, the 8 Plus was faster there. Let's check out my profile. And uh, about the same, similar stuff, about the same with the post, so... Again, follow me on Instagram for behind the scenes stuff and everything, most active there. Time for some browsing action, so I'm using the Safari browser on both phones. First off, we have 
uh, the gsmarena.com. Let's see which one is going to be faster. And as you can see, the iPhone 8 Plus wins the test easily. No problem whatsoever. Uh, the 7 Plus was right behind it. Again, very small difference there. Scrolling and everything looks smooth. See, zooming in and out. Load up this article. And again, faster on the iPhone 8 Plus, just barely faster. That was really close again. Check out the RAM measurement because like I do these browser tests to see if they can keep the application open in the background or not while we are browsing. So first off, phone dialer, that is still there. But settings, still there. Calculator, rip.gp, subway surfers. Okay, no refresh. Let's see, we have pinout. The iPhones are like king of multitasking. I, I haven't seen my 7 Plus refreshing like maybe one time in a speed test it happened, but they're the king, really. Got Uber, load up smash hit, still there. Beach buggy racing. And back to the Instagram, and maybe that got refreshed on the iPhone 8 Plus. Oh my god. Yes. It actually got refreshed. Maybe the iPhone refreshed the latest feed. That can be an explanation. But if I remember, I left the phone on my own photo. So it wasn't here. It was, you can see the iPhone 7 Plus also refreshed the feed, but it, it kept itself there on this picture, which tells me that A Plus actually refreshed the feed, which means that it refreshed one application. And that also means that 7 Plus beats the 8 Plus when it comes to the RAM management in this test. Uh, like normally this phone is really good, but like eight plus, I mean the seven plus pulled ahead and uh, after so many losses, it beats the eight plus in the multitasking. So overall you can see that like in real life, you're not gonna see any difference. I mean, if you are upgrading to the eight plus just because of speed, then you're gonna get disappointed because they are pretty much the same. No difference whatsoever. Like I've used the seven plus for so, for so long. I can't feel a difference on the 8 Plus. Uh, only when I'm launching some really heavy games, I see like two or three second, you know, faster performance on this one. Or maybe in the long term with iOS 13 or iOS 14, you might experience, you know, better performance on this one, which you will do, obviously. But like right now, I don't think 7 Plus is slowing down. I don't think the iOS 12 or 13 will slow this phone down. It's such a powerful phone, even in 2017 or almost 2018. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope this video will help you to take the final decision. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.